Hello everyone, this is Shannon with The Prepared Performer and we are back at it with our series, Ask an Agent with the wonderful Anthony Boyer. I'm gonna have to continue to come up with different descriptives for him every week. All right, our next question comes from Montasia Simmons and she has actually been featured on The Prepared Performer podcast, episode seven to be specific. Uh, she is also one of the graduates from the Prepared Performer Profits course. Try saying that three times fast. Uh, after graduating from the Prepared Performer Profits program, whoo, she launched a uh, super sweet supportive Facebook group called I'm an Artist and No, I'm Not Starving, which is amazing. Uh, you should go join it on Facebook. Um, and look for big, amazing things coming from Montasia. All right, this is her question for Anthony. Can you give me the top three to five benefits an actor will gain going from freelance to having an agent? And this was Anthony's answer. This is a great question. At the beginning of your career, it's often better to go freelance for multiple reasons, but as you start to move farther along, there are some really good reasons to start looking for representation. The first benefit is that you have someone vouching for you which, theoretically at least, means you should get more opportunities. You get into agent appointments rather than open calls, which means that you won't have to spend as much of your time sitting around waiting to get seen. You'll be in front of the actual casting director, many of whom don't even attend open calls, and even the actual creative team more often. And you'll just generally get treated better by having an appointment and by having a logo on your resume with someone the team and the casting director know and trust. On top of that, you'll get in for shows that you will simply never have opportunities for otherwise. We have relationships throughout the industry and we often hear about projects that are not necessarily public knowledge or out of town theaters that are casting but who aren't necessarily holding auditions in your city. A second benefit is having someone who can look over your contracts and negotiate for better terms. Many contracts these days are what we call boilerplate. That means that contracts often use the same language without changes. But having someone who can negotiate on your behalf and who can step in if there are any problems can be worth its weight in gold. Performers often have a tendency to say yes and to put themselves in a compromising position, or even when they're being assertive, they run the risk of creating friction with the producers. Having an agent who has a relationship with the producers and the casting directors who can go in and have a conversation and withstand the heat that negotiations can frequently become allows you to start rehearsals being the good cop with no personal bad blood. And more importantly, it lets you focus on the work. The agent and the producers will have similar conversations about other clients throughout their careers. So they're sort of forced to work together, no matter how ugly it gets. And it can get ugly sometimes. Third, you have someone to help advise you. We see hundreds or even thousands of careers begin, flourish and end. And we can help you make sense out of what can often be a confusing jumble. Those three things, creating opportunities, protecting you, and helping you guide your career are the three big ones. There are other reasons, such as promoting you, but those big three are what generally help us earn our 10%. There are times when it won't make sense to work with an agent, and it's not always just at the beginning of your career. For instance, let's say you book a chorus contract in a national tour, and you end up loving it so much that you stay for years. Since you don't need anyone creating opportunities for you, and because after the first year, if you're not making more than equity minimum, you're no longer obligated to pay commission on a course contract, this might be a time when it makes sense to go without representation. Hope that helps. I want to thank Montasia for submitting her question to Anthony. And remember, if you have a question you would like to ask, please go to www.askanagent.today to submit your question. Have a wonderful week, everyone. And don't forget, if you'd like to have information about working as a performer and building an actual business as a performer, you can go to starvingartistsyndrome.com. And 
As always, you can always come over to thepreparedperformer.com for all of our goodness. All right. We will see you next week with Ask an Agent with Anthony Boyer. Bye.